Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord, on this beautiful day that you have blessed us with. Another beautiful day that you have given us, Lord, life on this earth, Father. Dear Lord, as we step into a new a new journey, Lord, a new path, a new destination, Father. Father God, I pray and ask that you may lead the way, Father. Father God, I pray and ask for covering and that we may be covered in your holy sweet blood, dear Heavenly Father. May your Holy Spirit be moving in and out of us, dear Heavenly Father. May you be with us, as your word says, never will I leave you nor forsake you, dear Heavenly Father. May we walk by faith and not by sight, dear Heavenly Father. May we lean not on our own understanding, but that we lean on you, Father. And that we will overcome any adversity, any trial, tribulation, that we will get through it together, dear Heavenly Father, because we are now one, Father. I am so proud of you today. You have waited on this day for so much of my life and to have this opportunity to be here to see you marry a bride, a woman who is a phenomenal woman, a woman that is a Proverbs 31 woman. I am so happy for you. And to see you all under the authority of God and to see you jump the broom today, which means so much to have permission from God and not man to jump over and cross into a new life is amazing. And I am so grateful to forever be your mother and to now forever be Bethany's mother. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. We were standing in the freezing rain. Honey, how could I forget? Yeah, you feel my angel. This is something you guys are taking something where you have two people and you are becoming one. You have two families, you have two histories, you have two stories that are coming together and you creating today a new one. You guys both come from just, um, I love hearing about your guys' family stories and everything that's involved with everything, you, with your whole like life. But this is how God does it. God takes two people and he puts them together. And God is weaving and intertwining you guys together. Your families, your cultures, your histories, all of that is going to become one. Even, I love the fact that we're about to do later on today, when you guys walk out, we're doing the broom ceremony. I love that. Just that point of history of family. But what you guys are, you are taking two families and you are putting them together and you are creating one. Bethany Bergeron, my soulmate, my spiritual partner, my love, and a beautiful blessing sent from God. How can I sum up the best 1,286 days of my life in a few words? I stand here today transformed from a kid to a godly man that you have helped me become. Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds what is good. I knew when we would fall asleep on FaceTime snoring, you were my forever partner. I got about six chapters in here. Let's see. <laughs> Bethany Bergeron, I thank you for choosing me and making me a godly man. I vow to be there for you forever as the Lord is for us. I vow to be consistent, honor you, and protect you. I lay down my life for you as Jesus did for us. Bethany, I love you forever and more. I promise to put you first and keep buying you sunflowers and roses and always open every door for you. Cole. Before I met you, I was a girl struggling to figure out her purpose in life. I never thought that I'd see the day I'd find somebody I wanted to conquer the world with. I could stand here and pretend that I knew from day one that I was going to marry you, but let's face it, I ran from you. <laughs> Every chance I could. Every time you mentioned marriage, I was out the door. <laughs> you have taught me that two people joined together with respect, trust, and open communication you can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. I know that God created you specifically for me and has begun preparing both of us for this day when we get to become husband and wife. Through the pressures of the present and the uncertainties of the future, I promise you and him my faithfulness to stand beside you through all of life's experiences as we follow God. I will follow you in word and deed 
I will laugh with you, cry with you, scream with you, grow with you, and craft with you. To be your partner in all of life's adventures is all I could hope for for the world. I give you my hand, my love, and I give you myself. I vow to support you, inspire you, and love you always. To be guiding light in the darkness, a warming comfort in the cold, and a shoulder to lean on when life is too much to bear on your own. I promise to never keep score, although I'm, when I'm clearly winning, I'll let you think you are. <laughs> to let you have the last chocolate chip cookie that I bake. And to start celebrating Christmas with you in June. <laughs> I promise to give you my everlasting devotion and my loyalty to love you unconditionally and to grow with you in mind, body, and spirit. With these words and all these words in my heart, I'll be by your side for better or for worse. You're my forever and always, and I will always choose you. Wow. You two have chosen each other. You've chosen to say I do for forever. Not just this afternoon, not just tomorrow, but forever. And you've brought God in the middle of all of it. And so, before God and all these witnesses, I now have the honor of pronouncing you husband and wife. So, you may now kiss each other. <laughs> Yeah.